everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. If you have watched my video that I uploaded on Wednesday, then you will notice that I'm wearing the same outfit. And that is literally because I'm filming them at the same time. Um, just because I've been doing longer shifts at work, and not just longer shifts, but more shifts at work, and I'm trying to kind of bulk film together so that it works um, and see if this works for me to keep in time with my schedule and blah 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 so um, what I wanted to start doing on my channel as well because uh, it's true to myself and I tend to think that I am quite good at advice uh, my friends come to me for advice and um, they always compliment me with saying how wise I am and how helpful I can be and it's something that um, brings me joy and I like to help uh, so I wanted to start doing kind of like advice videos or like chatty videos um, those kinds of videos where I just feel like I just gonna talk about things that are on my mind that I feel like a lot of people need to hear as well um, in hopes that it will help someone inspire someone make someone feel better give someone clarity I don't know um, I just want to get my thoughts out there because obviously I think they're important clearly <laughs> um, so yeah I just wanted to make this little video as well just about about something that I've been thinking about recently because I've, I've been mentioning it like in different conversations with different people I've always been mentioning this particular subject that I want to talk about which is I'm gonna round it up as like self-love but it's it's more than that um, it's uh, a lot of a lot of things <laughs> but um, I feel like in this day and age especially where we're shining more of a light on self-love and um, you know taking care of yourself especially with mental health and all other kinds of things um, I think it's really important to, to continue talking about it and um, the more that people share our, their opinions on it the more people will relate the more information out there that people can relate to, there it, there will be, if that makes any sense. Um, just because I know that basically everyone is different, so what might work for me might not work for everyone else. And, um, you know, it's, it's hard to find the way that's for you. You kind of have to do it through trial and error. So it's kind of like the more that everyone speaks about things that they've tried or things that have worked for them the easier it will be for others because it will spark ideas or um, you know inspire people to try the same thing and it could be that it works for them as well so it just makes the whole journey of finding whatever works for you um, quicker and easier so um, I really just wanted to start this off by saying that like I've never really suffered from any mental health um, I have had you know I've been anxious and I've been sad and um, I've had like you know ups and downs with emotions but I've never had depression I've never had anxiety uh, I've never had like a panic attack or anything like that um, I don't know why I'm a, and a lot of people in my life that I've kind of had this conversation with have always been very surprised by that because it seems like everyone now has anxiety or depression of some sort um, but I've never had it so um, I don't know if maybe I'm doing something right or if maybe I'm doing something wrong <laughs> god knows but um, I just wanted to kind of share a couple of things that like are like my little life mottos and the way that I live my life and lead my life because I feel like maybe it will help other people out there um, not suffer or I don't know god knows um but I have never had the issue with expressing how I feel um I don't know if it's maybe that I feel entitled that everyone must know how they make me feel or if I've just never had an issue with it never felt like I was burdening another person I don't know because I mean I've had many conversations with friends and um a lot of it seems to come down to the feeling of like not wanting to burden someone else or feeling very alone or not knowing how to express how they're feeling and maybe that's the reason that, that they have um, you know anxiety or god knows whatever um, and I know that there are obviously like a load of other reasons and a, lo and a load of other medical issues that can happen with serotonin levels and things like that that can cause like depression anxiety and stuff like that but um, 
I definitely feel like expressing yourself and being able to do that and know how to do that correctly and um, having that sort of, having some way that you can get everything out rather than bottling it up definitely does help or seems to be a reoccurring theme in people that do suffer that they can't do if that makes sense I don't know if I'm starting to like not make sense now because it's yeah long sentences but basically I've never had any issues with expressing myself and um, something that I feel like I learned very very quickly which has actually really helped me is that I can't control anything in the world other than myself. Um, I can't control anyone else's actions. I can't control anyone else's thoughts, feelings, reactions. I can't control anything. The only thing I can control is myself, is the way that I think, the way that I feel, the way that I react to certain situations, the way that I speak, the way that I, my actions, like just everything. All I can control is myself, and that is the only thing that I am responsible for. I have no responsibility for anything else um, because it that's out of my control. Um, and having that thought process has really, really helped me, and I, I know that a lot of people may think that that's a selfish way of thinking, but um, bear with me. <laughs> I genuinely believe that you to be healthy, you have to have a level of selfishness with selflessness. So you can't be completely selflessness because you will just get walked all over and taken complete advantage of. However, you can't be completely selfish because then you kind of become a narcissist and just think the whole world revolves around you and then you actually kind of start just affecting other people and the environment that you're around because you will become just a toxic person that you no one wants to be around so there is definitely finding like a fine line and a fine balance between the two but um it really does start with just like trying to be the best person you can possibly be that is just the way that i live my life is just what kind of person do i want to be and how can i be the absolute best like that's that's all it is for me like i I want to help the people around me. I want to love those that, you know, those around me, the people that I care about. I want to love them and care for them and support them. And I want to be there for them and, you know, like raise them up when they need to be like raised up and, and kind of just like be their cheerleader when they need that. And, um, and also kind of tell them when they're messing up and when they're being wrong or you know I want to grow in an environment that is positive and everyone is trying to be their best and we're all learning and very forgiving and very vulnerable I feel like a vulnerable environment is actually like the best place to grow because fear is what holds everyone back um, fear of being hurt again when you're in relationships or if you've got just come out of a relationship and you've just started seeing someone having that fear of getting hurt again is what actually causes issues allowing yourself to be vulnerable yeah you could potentially get hurt but pain you like you grow from pain so like blocking yourself off from potential pain is actually like more detrimental to you than anything ever being vulnerable will give you if that makes any sense <laughs> but um yeah i just feel like there's a lot of people in this world and a lot of um people that i've spoken to that are younger than me as well that um like i'm just like fearful for in the sense of you know it, it's very difficult in your 20s when you're trying to figure everything out and especially in society that we've built up where you're made to feel like you need to have everything figured out and you should be at a certain point by a certain age and you should be earning a certain amount of money and you should be this and that and this and it's all very robotic um it's it's really hard to understand that growth comes from like within and the only thing that we are responsible for is ourselves and our own self growth you can't make other people grow you can't teach other people well you can teach other people obviously because we have teachers but I'm saying like you can't change another person's mindset realistically like that has to come from them like you could be the trigger but you will never change that mindset like you could be the one that finally switches the switch like they finally switched the switch because of something you said that's triggered them 
or you know but it's I'm almost certain that everyone out there has felt like at one point in your life when you're really trying to help someone that you're just talking to a brick wall and they don't listen and it's all because you learn from experience and you learn through through yourself really like that's how you learn and how you grow like and if someone isn't ready to do that growth if someone isn't ready to like look at the cell that look at within themselves and point the finger at themselves as being the issue they're not going to grow and they're not going to listen to you so you could be the trigger that goes oh god yeah she's right actually maybe i do need to to look at myself but that journey of like growth of like when they have to look at themselves and actually ask themselves what kind of person do I want to be and actually check themselves every time they're kind of going out of path that's that's all on them so like the best thing to do in terms of self-love is is genuinely pick yourself apart you know like nobody is perfect in this world and if we all just try and thrive to be the best version that we can be be the kindest be the nicest um be the most loving uh considerate forgiving vulnerable like all of these things these are these are things that i personally that's the kind of life that i want to lead um i want to lead a, a life where i'm headstrong and i'm i'm strong and independent but i'm also able to be vulnerable and caring and loving and you know teach and inspire and help others to grow like i haven't felt so much growth wait that doesn't make any sense hold on let me try and rephrase that i have grown the most in the past i would say two or three years maybe four pushing it maybe four um yeah i've grown the most then than I ever have in my life and I've always felt like I've been growing and my mindset's always been changing but like in terms of like personal self-growth of like just understanding the world around me the environment that I want to be in how everything really does affect me that has that's quite a recent thing for me and if I can help others out there do the same like it makes life so much easier just um understanding that you know without bad good doesn't exist and if you didn't have bad days or if you didn't have days where you felt like absolute shit how in the hell would you know when you'd be in a good day you wouldn't know because it would just be mundane like everything would just be at a level um so you need the good for the bad like you need the bad for the good and in this day and age and in this society all we have is ourselves like that's that is reality like we're all going to die <laughs> getting a bit morbid but we are all going to die and at one point in our lives there is gonna be you know you are gonna, like you're only responsible for yourself and you kind of have to always question whether you're being your true self and you're being authentic to yourself and um you know if that's the way that you kind of want to be remembered and if that's the kind of energy that you want to put out into the world and into the universe um i always just find yeah as long as you're being true to yourself then you're you're not you're you're kind of winning um and that means learning that means you know making mistakes and just owning up to it like it's okay to make mistakes it's fine we're all learning nobody's perfect but it's it's the the pride and the stubbornness and that fear of of again the fear of vulnerability of being like no you're right i was wrong i shouldn't have done that i've learned from this now like that won't happen again and you know s like seeing um actions that you're doing or you know small like habits that you might be doing that's actually no that i don't i don't want to do that anymore i'm really sorry that's not okay that i've done that or that's not okay that i've said that like i take that back actually because that's that's not okay just just acknowledging it and just take acknowledgement take responsibility of yourself of your actions of your words of the the energy that you put out in the universe just stop pointing the finger at other people like that is that is the biggest issue like we're all here to do the same thing we're all here to just live and everyone lives differently so what is the point in trying to control the way that others do it 
because that's not going to bring you happiness because you can't do it so the only way you will find true happiness is within and focusing on yourself and being selfish in that sense like ask yourself the question of what kind of person do I want to be and be that person it's as simple as that like it really is and I feel like as a person for myself as well, like I can be quite controlling, I like to take control, I like to do things myself because then I know it's done, but when it comes to like, when it comes to trusting other people, I've learned a great deal to like put it out there and if I, if they don't follow through, to not get so upset and not get so distraught or like not to let it annoy me so much and not to let it become a really negative poisonous energy because I can't control what they do and you know me putting myself in a vulnerable position if it doesn't if it stings me bites me back or just yeah like a slap back to the face that's okay like I can heal from that like ego bruise or whatever like that's fine like trusting other people isn't an issue and um you know, not being able to control them is, is fine, that's okay and that's life and that's always going to be life. So the quicker you realise and accept that, the easier things are and the less stress things become. Um, don't get me wrong, there is still stress and it's still very stressful and even I have to check myself every now and then and be like, come on Lil, like you can't, you can't control everyone and um, you know you're only responsible for yourself and having this mindset will definitely bring you independence and will definitely make you stronger um yeah you just overall just the bottom line of this entire video is focus on yourself constantly grow within you cannot control others and vulnerability is not a weakness it is the biggest strength you can possibly find so I know that I probably kind of just rambled on a little bit and kind of went on a tangent, which is very normal for me. Um, but I just wanted to get that out there and just kind of just do like a brain fart. I don't know what you want to call it. Just let my thoughts out and um, maybe start up a conversation. I don't know if this would help anyone or maybe if anyone else feels like this or thinks like this and how it's helped you or maybe like, I don't know, just any sort of process of like how you feel about being vulnerable if you have any trust issues or anything that you feel like you need to overcome um yeah just just hit me up just leave a comment down below because i'd really would just like to have a conversation about this kind of stuff because it, it just really interests me um and i genuinely believe that the only way we can also grow is just by speaking to one another and spreading knowledge and having conversations so yeah definitely hit me up um I'd also like to know if there's anything that you guys do that's has like kind of helped you or if there's any sort of thought process that's kind of brought you peace because I know that since finding my spirit spirituality and just being very yeah investing more time in that I have found that I am a lot calmer in internally as well like I don't know if anyone else in the witch community um knows what I mean in the sense of just like the minute like the minute you accepted that you were spiritual and that that was the journey you were going to be on it was like a weight being lifted off but just like internally like I just felt at peace and was just kind of like more level headed and things like that but anyway I've always yeah I've always kind of been level headed but this has just brought me another level of yeah peace and stability so I hope that uh, this has inspired some of you uh, potentially to just, you know, think about yourself, point the finger at yourself, check yourself um, and just keep growing because that's all we can do. We cannot control the world, we cannot control the universe and we cannot control other people. So just make sure that you are being the best version you can possibly be, the nicest person you can possibly be and the most loving because god do we need a lot of love in this world right now so yeah uh, i hope you enjoyed this video uh, make sure to leave a comment uh, just to have a little discussion down below because i would really like to just get involved in that as well and just build up this community um 
give it a like and definitely subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next week with another video. Thanks, bye.